be terrific. Official coverage of CES 2017. I'm Michael Arches. Welcome back to your continuing coverage of CES 2017. Nice job, Jason, down on the floor of Central Hall. We're high atop Central Hall here on the grand balcony of the Las Vegas Convention Center, and this is your live continuing coverage. What's up, Jay Bird? How you doing? What is going on, Terrifics? We are just having a lot of fun getting a lot of information and coming across a lot of cool products here at CES 2017 as your official media partner. I am so excited. At Be Terrific TV on all social media, and of course, hit us up on our Slack chat, connect at beterrific.com. All right, we have got a very special guest here. Andrea has joined me on set. And uh, also we've got Gray from Tiny Moss. Yeah. Now, right. this is an astro ast astronomy camera. That's right. Uh, it's like the world's smallest, is that correct? That's correct. We are the world's smallest astronomy camera, uh, and we simplify astronomy photography for the masses. Yeah. How, uh, how does it work? I, I've never really been into astronomy photography because it always seems so hard, so challenging, and um, oh yeah, you have to be patient. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Talk about your time lapse. Yeah. <laughs> I've got like eight minutes for a time lapse, yeah. not eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, walk me through the camera. Okay, so what we're trying to do is to make astronomy accessible to the masses. So we make it in a simple uh, format. Uh, it's small, smart, and social. Mm -hmm. So it's small in the sense that this is all that is required to capture the Milky Way time lapse that you mentioned. And it's smart because it tells you where to point. So if you can see this on screen, uh, there is actually a star map that's telling you at what you are exactly pointing at. Oh, wow. Yep. Wow. And see, that, that's also my other problem. I don't know yeah. what the Milky Way is. I, I don't know what uh, <laughs> Little Dipper I is, do. the Big Dipper, the North Orion's Star. Orion's Belt? I mean, come on, you've got to know these stars. <laughs> I thought I was wearing that. I didn't no, know. No, you're not wearing Orion's <laughs> Belt. <laughs> yeah. Great, this, I love astronomy, yeah. and I've always like been with the stars. That's because my birthday is June 21st, mm -hmm. which is the longest day of the year. So yeah. wow. you should remember that. I, I remember that. <laughs> and That's my half birthday then is the winter solstice. There you go. So it always helped me with that. Yeah. I, I, I try to remember to always send a card. Joe Marcus probably still does. No? Yeah. No? Is that no. it? Anyway. That's astrology, though. So oh, but, astronomy. But yeah, astronomy, though. Let's get but, back um, to that. Eric yeah. Fletcher, who won't be here until tomorrow, I guess, uh, would be loving this. He shoots the most beautiful time lapses I've ever seen. Uh, but he, 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 like, camps out. This could yeah. make it easier. You still have to camp out. But it makes it easier. First of all, again, here are the maps of the stars. Yeah. And then why am I looking at a uh, blue screen that looks like the laptop I had in 1989? <laughs> so uh, I think we are pointing at a screen over there. It, it can't quite tell what it's looking at. So the white balance is a little off. So uh, if you're in a natural setting, that's a bit easier to get. Oh, OK. I got yeah. it. And then what else? I mean, what do I do? So now what do I do? I've got this. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm outside. I point it up at the stars, and what happens? That's right. So the star maps guides you to the stars, and it can tell what you're pointing at. So it gives you the correct capture settings. Uh, there's a preset over here that says auto. So that gives you the correct settings for that particular scene. And it, uh, you just need to point and shoot, and it will give you the best images possible. And wow. can you do time lapse? And so you can do regular photography, time lapse. Can you shoot video? Yeah, we can do uh, time lapse uh, stills as well as videos. We can do all of that. In fact, we can get up to 67 frames per second raw for the full uh, for the raw capture. What's the resolution? Resolution is Quad HD. Uh, that's about four megapixels. We're designing this totally for social media. So after you've captured all of that, it process all uh, it process all the images within the camera. You can upload it to social media using the Wi-Fi that we have built into this one. Wow, yeah. very nice. And, and I mean, how did you think of this? Because I know there are a lot of people into astronomy and astronomy yeah. photography, but I mean, I don't know, you yeah. know, it's, it's not something I would normally think of. Yeah, so uh, what started all this was the fact that uh, I used to be a professional photographer. So I had some of the top of the line DSLR with me when I saw the Milky Way going from horizon to horizon. But uh, I don't know what I'm pointing at. I, I have no idea what's the capture right. settings. So uh, what are the odds that a regular person would be able to do that when I was a professional photographer? So I thought, hey, a little software here and there can actually really help out a lot. And we really designed this for the average consumer. Uh, it's lightweight, it's not very expensive. It's very easy to bring around and just when, capture. When you say not very expensive, we're talking 400 bucks, 500 bucks? Around that range. Uh, okay. So we are still on Indiegogo uh, pre-orders right now. So that's get.tinymoss.com. So that is going for 459 US dollars for the standard set. And uh, we have a whole range of accessories as well. And, and do they include the telescope here? Yeah. yeah. I love it. 
<laughs> so this is yeah. a telephoto lens. This is a telephoto lens. So uh, for those who are interested in photography, uh, this is equivalent to 700 mm in focal length. So this will actually get you. Did you say 700 millimeters? That's right, this 700. Is 700 millimeters. So it is 100. Uh, we have a seven times crop factor. So you're looking at equivalent view of your 700 millimeters. Wow. Yeah. So that's a tiny sensor. That's a tiny sensor, but we have our own secret tricks up our sleeves to make it perform like a larger sensor. And if we go to your site, can we see samples? Yes, definitely. We have great samples. We have captures uh, of Milky Way from Malaysia. We have, oh, wow. we have some from Big Sur, California. And we also have a time lapse that we took from Melbourne uh, when we visited Australia. Oh. So yeah, do check it out. What's the response been like to this camera? So the response has been great. Uh, we, we, got, uh, we got very lucky. A lot of press actually love us. Nice. Yeah. So uh, when... it is a little bit of a different market, you know? That's, that's so that's, right. that's good for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> now, is it, is it a one-trick pony, or if I wanted to shoot some photos later, can I also do that with it? You can. In this atmosphere. You can, you can. <laughs> so you can take regular photos. Uh, oh, I was listening this? to the nonsense in the Slack chat. Uh -oh. <laughs> all about, they're talking about the NES Classic and how uh -oh. you could shoot boards for NES on this, like asteroids and all that stuff. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you can actually use this as a day camera as yeah. well. It's really designed for travel. Sure. So, um, so if I only have to bring one camera on vacation. That's right. Only one, le uh, only one camera on vacation, and you can have all the lenses that you want. Will it do yeah. panoramics? Um, not right now, but I think in the future we can do that. With a, is that a firmware update or a different camera? Probably a new lens. Oh, a new lens. Yeah. Nice. How many? So how many accessories do you have now? It's the camera, yeah. and then the telephoto. It comes with a standard lens. Yeah, so uh, every camera comes with a standard wide-angle lens. Yep. Uh, you can actually upgrade to the ultra-wide-angle lens uh, that gives you a much bigger view of you. Uh, you can get this 700mm focal length equivalent, and that's going to be a very good lens to capture the solar eclipse that's happening in August. How, how long till I get it? Like, if I order it today on Indiegogo, yeah. how long till I can have this in my hand? We are planning to deliver starting March this year. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah I like that. And... Uh, and what else do I want to know about this thing? Oh, <laughs> wow. I didn't even ask if I could handle it. So uh, the idea came in uh, April 2014. So that's when I was actually um, coming out from university. Okay. And I was thinking, hey, why don't I do something interesting? And that's what I came out with. Well, I'm yeah. laughing because you said I used to be a photographer, yeah. right? And I was like, when? How long ago <laughs> was that? So that's great. So two yeah. years this has been in the making. And yeah. that's a product. Yeah. Battery life? Battery life, we are looking at about 400 shots per charge, and we know that people like to do this out in the cold, so you can actually plug in a portable charger, and it will run while charging as well. Excellent, and it takes yeah. a S micro SD card? Micro SD card. And you can change batteries, or it's a built-in battery? It's a built-in battery. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Well, you could take, could you take the, the cord and plug it into a battery? Yeah. Like an external battery? Yeah, that's right. So via the USB, you can actually plug in a portable charger. Right. Yeah. And Very you're not nice. locked into to anything. Look brand. at that. Great, you've <laughs> thought of everything. I mean, I love the map thing. Is that, have you ever seen that on an astronomy camera before? No, so we are the first one to do it. You uh, don't have to take those maps and the wheels and sit there like Columbus trying to navigate <laughs> the seven seas. That's right. Tractor and measuring distance. Yeah. Oh, my God. Thank God. You're, you're, you're great, Gray. This Thank is you. awesome. I like it. I like it, too. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Gray, thank you very much. we got to go thank to tinymoss.com. Yeah, tinymoss.com for the website, and uh, if you and are Indiegogo. Yeah, Indiegogo will be get.tinymoss.com. Get.tinymoss.com. That's right. Get.tinymoss.com. Yeah. Get.tinymoss.com. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break here on set so we can watch Jason Aaron do this amazing interview live from the floor of CES at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Jason, take it away. Be terrific. Official coverage of CES 2017.